It is Tuesday, August 15th, uh, day 153 on the trail. Well, I summited Mount Washington yesterday and then attempted to make it back uh, a ways. Didn't get all that far before the sun ran out, or it said anyway, it didn't run out. Uh, and I had to put my headlamp on and try and hike down a Blue Blaze Trail. It wasn't Blaze that you could see, but Cairn markers were there. Piles of rocks, stacks of rocks. Uh, it was a tough climb. The Randolph Trail, the Randolph Path, actually is the one that I took. There was a, a worker at the summit um, shop up there that gave me some good advice. So, and uh, uh, Silky Smooth was her trail name. She hiked in 2016. And so, but I hiked down in the dark on, on a different path than this one. She told me this one was easier, but I, it was further down the trail, and, but I had to backtrack, and I, I didn't know where to find it. There was no trail marker or trail head sign listed for this one. Well, this is the view this morning as I'm climbing up the, the other trail that she had suggested that was an easier access, and she is absolutely right. It was way easier than the one I went down last night in the dark. Uh, snapped a trekking pole again. <laughs> well, actually, I snapped it yesterday sometime uh, on the AT and then uh, fell several times on the way down to uh, my camp last night. Um, and uh, that section broke totally off, lost it somewhere. It's out in the rocks. But uh, found a stealth spot on the way down to the shelter, the RMC, Randolph Mountain Club Shelter. I didn't stay there. I stayed uh, at a mm, marginal still sight last night I want to get the tarp up because I knew it was supposed to rain which it did this morning early but I uh, I hiked almost 15 hours yesterday I was beat I, I was so tired I didn't even eat supper um, and just had another uh, bar finished my trail mix uh, and went to bed I was exhausted. I don't know how I'm going to do for energy. I did cook my last oatmeal packet this morning. So I've got some something in me anyway. But uh, my ride is supposed to meet me. I, I told her it would probably be more like 4 o'clock. Might be closer to 5. We'll see. But I'm, by coming up this other route, I'm saving myself a mile of, of uh, hike time and mileage on uh, on the other steep trail up Mount Adams. So... Anyway, a gorgeous view. Uh, I'm starting to get up into the clouds. You can see, well, there's the cloud right there. I'm about to ascend in into it. Yeah, it's coming over that rock right there. So I figured I better make my opening video here. But uh, Mount Washington was totally socked in with fog and clouds, but uh, it was there. I made it um, on the day that I wanted to. All right, time to push on so I can meet my ride to Stratton Reserved. Um, space at the main roadhouse there called a person named Jen this morning over there and she's got, got a bunk ready for me. All right, Patriarch pushing on. I feel a little bit like the character Monk uh, from the TV series. I've been, been tapping these Karen markers, the top ones anyway, and thanking them for being here. <laughs> it just reminded me of the show. Uh, by the way, I, I like I said, I hiked for 15 hours. I didn't get into camp until like 11.40 last night. It was really late. Um, got to bed about 1 o'clock. So I am I'm bushed. Thinking about zeroing in Stratton, although I don't know if I can afford the day. Moving on. Mm -hmm.